ConcealedCarry.com. We've got Jacob, of course, and today we are here at Tactical Solutions with Keith Feely. And you're going to talk to us about this new takedown rifle, which uh, you said, I think, literally just showed up this morning. Yeah, we just got the stock this morning right. from Magpul. They just announced it last week. This is our new backpacker stock. It was great with our X-Ring takedown rifle. Let's take the barrel off. Slide it in. Snap, that is so easy. Look how fast that is. <laughs> there's nothing to screw, there's no, you know, take it into apart. It's just boom, boom. It's nice, right. yeah, it just locks up nice and compact. You've got storage, traditional magazines. Spare mag, nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Set up, we can go ahead and either bull barrel or the fast barrel. Yeah. 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 Swar barrels are all bull barrel, and then like our SPX barrel it has its supporting contour with the shroud on there. Right. And of course, threaded versus pressers. Threaded on half by 28. Yep. Excellent. I mean, the Tactical Solutions uh, uh, workover, so great stuff here. Mag release, all of that. Looks great. And, and would you just demonstrate that for us one more time? Yeah. That is slick. You can totally see this fitting in a backpack real easy. Something that you can take really anywhere. You can keep it in a survival kit, you can put it in a car. It's just, it's just, it goes together so fast. Yeah, once you've attached a barrel to it, it's about 19 and a half inches. It just fit in most bags. Yeah. Sweet. Really, really, really nice product. Now, this is obviously brand new, so at this point, the expectation for the this might be on the market? You know, they're saying spring on the stock, so we're good. hoping the next, next few months here to have this out and have it available ready to ship. Nice. Cool. Great. Now we got a few other goodies uh, from Tactical Solutions here as well. So, what, what do we got there, Colt? our first pistol we built from the ground up. Right. Basically the concept was, you know, we've already made the trail light barrels for the Browning Buckmark. We've made rails, we made grips. So we decided we're gonna make our frame, but we're gonna use the components we already have. We know how they work, they're proven. And so basically we made a whole new frame. Completely different internals than what the Browning Buckmark has. Mm -hmm. Basically like a lot of things we like to say we like to do it better. Yeah. So it's got about three pound trigger. Excellent. Uh, milled mill aluminum frame, milled steel slide, 10 round magazine. All those G10 grips. Yeah, man. Very attractive. So it, it feels really light. Um, it's just, uh, the size of the hand for me works really well. The grip is solid. Um, sights are really nice. Probably shoots like a dream, like everything else you guys do. They've yeah, been great in testing so far, yeah. yeah. We're really impressed with the accuracy and how well they shoot. Did you said 10 round magazine? Correct. Yep. Yeah. That's safe. Uh, what's, uh, what do you expect for MSRP on this? It must be about $1,100. $1,100, so very very affordable gun in this class. Um, and, and custom build. I mean, just great guns. That is great. Awesome. And looks like Colt's got uh, one other thing over there for us. Wow. I mean, for tactical solutions, I thought you guys are just the 22 guys. You know, well, we're, we're firearms enthusiasts, we always play with other stuff. We have been manufacturer, but a few years back we made our first center fire AR upper with our TSA R300, the 300 blackout. Ever since we've done that, we had these people ask, why don't you done that for 223? Yeah. So sure. we found the count with the 223. So basically, it's a 12 inch length of bore, but the overall barrel length is 16.1 inches. Big old flash tube. Yeah. Yeah, basically, it's set up, thread one half by 28, so you can slide your suppressor in there, thread it on, oh, keep sweet. your overall length short. Nice. That's basically, cool. it's set up to fit on any mill spec lower. Well, we sell it as the upper or as a complete rifle with the magpul hardware. Great. Awesome. And uh, is this in production yet? These are in production. They'll start ship, you can ship within a month. Nice. Uh, price? These are complete for the whole, whole rifle. Complete rifle is about $1,300. Very competitive price. Alone, it's about 1100 yeah, so that's very impressive. And uh, what, is this an optic that's included, or is that just something no, on for the show? No, that was just an optic that was yeah. on for the show. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell what it was either. You guys are making this mount, though? We do. Nice. The uh, mount's actually a little for this rifle, but we make sure. this in a medium height. Now, are you guys doing anything special here with the trigger, or...? Well, our, all our lowers come with the ALG Defense uh, QMS trigger. Okay. Nice. What about... Just a little upgrade, you know, the hardware. Three and a half, four pounds. Yeah, I think they're a little closer to five, five. on the trigger okay. than those. Nice. 
and then, yeah, we decided to go with the Magpul cool hardware on there, popular option. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, well, nice. you got a good thing working with Magpul. Might as well run with it, right? Oh, yeah. Very, Very attractive, attractive rifle. Rail. <laughs> I was going to say the rail. I like the rail. Good uh, look so there. So, yeah, and the rail actually have two different options. We have with either the M-Log slots or we also offer with key mods. So, if somebody okay. orders a rifle, they can choose which handguard they like. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Awesome. Great. So here we go. Uh, thank you, Keith, for your time. Uh, Capital Solutions doing a lot of great stuff out of Boise, Idaho. That's my home state. So got a got a you know way to go, Idaho. Uh, but uh, thank you for showing us around and yeah. demoing your uh, new products. For us. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Keith. Thanks, Keith.